been some pretty substantial storms and flooding which is good it washed all the fish guts all the local garbage that's thrown in the creeks all the oils and everything else downstream so i can get in this one hole i've been wanting to look at for a long time you've been here five million times but it is by far one of my favorite spots just because there's always something new so i brought a shovel this time so i want to poke around in here and shovel some deep stuff if possible the rocks aren't too big i may have tried this before and throw it up on the side here and see what's in it so let's give it a shot shot in the dark i just realized i got in here without my crack scratcher that's pretty tragic because i need it there's a couple oysters in there that got stuck that's the kind of stuff i'm talking about a lot of people just throw their household garbage in the city creeks along with soup kitchen foods and everything else and it just ends up rotting in a creek when there's no water moving along with animals that have been run over they end up in creeks city creeks and it gets a little nice tea but this is semi-clean rainwater it's not potable even if it was i wouldn't put it in my face i absolutely have to go back to the wagon and get my uh crack scratcher that is a necessity see there's a library right there no crack scratcher so the last thing I want to do is cut myself on a library which I usually do anyway there it is. We gotta get a crack scratcher. The cool thing about the water being up a little bit is a pound of premium ice bag is only 247. Another good thing is you can see things in the water a little better. Because it's kind of magnified a little bit. Okay, crack scratcher. Got it. There's never been anything right here, but there's the first time for everything. And a worm. So let's just look. Since we're here, oh, snakes are here. Let's see if anything got hung up right here. I'm probably going to wish I didn't do this, but right now I'm not there yet. Oh yeah, I'm not going under there. That's a gut wrencher. I say back down straight. Wait, I have to look at here. Good boy. You're not supposed to shoot that in town. Little side crack I've never checked. I see three or four, four coins in that already. I've never stopped to look at this. Let me get my phone out because I had to capture it on video too. Double. There's a case quarter. Here's a library. There's two more libraries. Those are previous finds, as you know. It's not, nothing is silver. That's okay. But that's a, uh, 
1980 something 28 cents to 29 cents so far closer and closer to retirement every day I know what you're thinking that's where I put my shovel that's where I put my man purse there is a case quarter sticking out right next to it here's the other case quarter I found a minute ago all bent up I think it's the case quarter no there's a knockout from an electrical panel but we'll get it out of here so we don't ever find that again I'm gonna start with getting all the big stuff out of here I think I've done this once before and I couldn't get into the depths because there were so many big stones but I'm gonna try it anyway again you know but before we do that and get a sweat going on let's scratch out some cracks if that big old thing got stuck it's a lug nut then there's more underneath it then there's a deeper hole like that bolt right there and that bolt right there so we move two bolts and the lug nut and we scratch it all out and we wait and we get that out get that out and move this see what's under here this is my bride's crack scratcher I hate to use it because I don't want to dull the tip but it works like it <laughs> so let's go right here all these things got wedged in there somehow like that's been in there a while move it up it's been in there so long it's like a couple of bolts stuck together so move all the big stuff this rock comes out that's a good sign now underneath it is what a piece of lead not pizza lead but a piece of lead and we wait for the second we pull some more out and see what's in there there's nothing. If you were here, you could at least start up there and help me out. Instead of just sitting there watching. Not telling what we would find by now. But you're not here. You stayed home for this journey. That looks like a coin. If it is, I just broke it in several pieces. It is not a coin. When you say thank goodness, who are you thanking? Be honest, don't hold back. There are no coins right there. What about this little itty bitty teeny weeny spot? Rocks out of there. A handful of grav right here. A piece of lead. Okay. Let's see what happens. Nothing. Another piece of lead. I want some more silver coins. Ah. Oh.
That rock almost moves. Okay, this might be a good little collection right here. I don't really worry about hole integrity in a city creek because it's just going to wash back the way it was anyway. Right? Nothing there. I'd like to get that out, but it's not worth breaking the old crack scratcher. Oh, don't do that. Okay, sorry. It means it's not as deep as I thought. So, we'll skip it. That's a nothing. That's a, this is a good spot. I brought sat one day forever and ever and picked in here. And found so much stuff. Maybe I should do it. Y'all wanna do it? This is a good washing area. This is a good spot where everything will drain real quick. We'll get all the rocks out and then get all this out. Let's do it. Let's do a shovel on there. You want to? Come on. Someone get the bag. Okay, just forget it. I'll get it later. Man, I thought we had a silver coin. I'm not gonna sift through every piece like this. Anything that's gonna be anything is gonna be deep. But we'll do a few like that. Because there could be new stuff. Just sitting in the top. I just got my pants wet for putting my hand right there. I did not make potties in the pan. That's a piece of brass. Let's see. See, that's a fresh library. That hasn't been in there long. So it was in the top. There's another library. That one's fresh. Oh, little mosquito bug. You come up here. Don't fly right back to me into the water. And don't fly on my leg. I'm trying to save your life. Some bugs are so disrespectful. It was really cold and a pretty good frost last night. But it's nice right now. It's like 63.3 sixteenths and an eighth. If that's really mathematics that sound like that. And uh there's a piece of brass. We need an artist. So Finished the earlier sentence. Everything is hatching out. Bugs. That is. I'll tell you one thing I've noticed. I washed my wagon for the first time in a long time. And uh, I noticed there's no bugs squashed to the front of it because during the winter all the bugs are hibernating, they say. The bugs and the bear, since both those things start with a B go to the same place and they uh they hibernate and when you get done they come back out in the summer 
And then they get stuck all over your car. I don't know why they want to do that. But they do. It's going to get tougher and tougher to see anything. The more stuff we dump on this little hillside. And then we'll have to let all this. We, we can uh, divert some flow and get all this cleaned up. But you know what? I can throw this a different direction, can't I? Well, yeah, man. Why would you keep throwing it at the same spot? I don't know. It just seems reasonable. I don't know. I don't understand. Somebody planted grass right in the middle of that pod. And for those of you who prefer good creek integrity, there's a corn right there. Crash catcher. All this will wash back in it. So never fear. I feel like I have a bug in my pant. I don't know why I saw that. Oh well. Can I see where it is? I've always wanted to get that colorful thing out there, but I can't. Hey! That's a big old mineral. Where did I just see that corn? Oh, right there. I think it's the modern zinc library. It is. But it's been a long time, so it's just rolling a little bit, getting this little, getting this corrosion on. See, now we've lost focus. Now we need to get back down here and get some water in that. Oh, I'm about to fall down. Okay, so the only way to get water in here is to build a dang and divert. We'll use that block over there. It might have a little bit of rain though. need this one. But first, you need to look underneath there. <laughs> That's a heavy mamma jamma. I say so myself. Okay, that helps a little bit. We need more. We need to go in here. This is going to be a fantastic little rock for the game. Now don't try to get away. We need some more water. We need some more water. Water. Let's kind of clean it up a little faster. Be able to see what's in the top at least in a little while. We'll put this. I have no idea other there. Let's get these real quick. Our little pieces of brass and our libraries and go add them to the change pile. Make that change. So down here. I got a feeling we're gonna do pretty good today. Get the ants. I sure thought that was another case quarter. So brass, brass, and brass. I tell myself don't eat before I come and do this because I wait for the sun to be right over the head because it helps me see in the water better. But I'm always hungry by this time. We're getting pretty deep now. Deeper anyway. I need another clean spot. Let's dump it right here. Now we'll dump it past. Too far. You ready? Me too. It's nothing. I 
and we may have to let it sit here and dry out a phase if you can see stuff in it then we'll come back and check it and see what's in it so let's go get another shovel a shovel full of creek water <laughs> I got a lot of bugs in my face. I guess the bugs are coming back. It's pretty slick. We need this further that way. And we need a more aggressive turn. There we go. That's aggressive. That's pretty aggressive right there. This is semi-aggressive. We're still losing too much over there. need somebody to go upstream or downstream and get us some more rocks. This is getting a little better. And a little more than better. You're not doing what I told you to do. I need you to bring the water here and that way. Yeah, look at that. That's going over the top now. It's even getting more water over there. So it's gonna clear it out a lot more. I don't know if I've told y'all why, I appreciate you watching my videos. I do make a little bit of money from them. But as usual, I still do this, which started off with Twilight. Who said, Daddy, you need to record your adventures in creeks instead of just going to places like this all by myself. And not have anybody to talk to. Now I have y'all to talk to. So we can talk about it. And we'll find something. He got his two summers done, talking about Twilight, the Naval Academy, the STEM one summer, and then the next summer he did a. a diamond I've started keeping every one of these I bought a diamond tester and I have found so many of these in city creeks so far none have been real diamonds but and I guess even if they do or become diamonds one day, then they'll be diamonds. So he's done two summers at the Naval Academy. Where's my crack treasure? And he got his congressional nomination from, uh, what's his name? He keeps sticking in the arm. Uh, what is his name? I need to get the big rocks out of here. That'll help. You know what we can do with them? We'll continue to build the wall. Mother, do you think they got the bomb? Oh, yeah, we're getting some good flow now. So he got his congressional nomination, which is good. I've told y'all this in the past. He's got accepted to Auburn and Alabama. He would prefer Alabama. I would prefer Auburn. And we both would prefer the Naval Academy. We're just waiting. The fella, never mind. We'll talk about that if he gets the nomination. I mean, if he gets into the Academy. So I'm gonna tell you what you don't need to do to get your child to the oh, Naval Academy. It's getting hot now. Washer or coin. I'm not 100% sure that is a, I don't know, that might have been a corn. We better harvest. 
The crazy thing is it will stick to a magnet being a coin or not because they have iron that's leached out and got all over them. Okay. It's cool finding those little diamonds in here, even if they're fake. Because what's the chances? Actually, the chances are pretty good because <gasps> Ah, it's another knockout. Let's get it out of here. It's just like some somebody loses their diamond off their ring, whether fake or not. They say, oh man, that's gone forever. Well, no, it's not. I just found it. So if it's yours, shoot me an email with a ring that's missing the diamond. Not one you've just pulled off the line somewhere of a, of a picture of a ring missing a diamond because there is ways to tell where photos came from now. It's like with AI writing school papers. There's apps. You can say, hey, whatever your AI app is, write me a paper on eutrophication in ponds. It'll write you a five page paper and you turn it in and you get an A. Oh no, the professors have gotten wise. See, we all plagiarize. If you don't do your own... Look at that, what is that? you don't do your own research and I'm not talking about research and other people's research if I'm talking about you want to perform your own scientific studies and all that then you're always plagiarizing I can't read that because it sounds like something athletic union of the United States 2012 AAU that's cool. Well, that's mean that's been. I mean, they could have lost it last year. Chances are not that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? USA. AAU. I can't read it. Oh, Amateur Athletic Union of the United States. And then a little embossed Taylor Swift on there. That's cool. Put it over here. You know, you started so many conversations about so many different things. I don't even know where you are. So let's just focus on what we're doing here, okay? Okay, wait, we threw this pile over here. And then that big thing flew out. I told you this was fun. Didn't I? That thing was far down there. I've been digging deep. 2012, it's 2024 right now. So how many years is that? Y'all do the arithmetic for me while I dig a tunnel. Dig a tunnel, dig a dig a tunnel. Okay, get this out of there. I'm going over here. Standard Issues Inc. Library. Another, I wonder why there's so many of these in creeks. I don't recall my lifetime ever having one fall out of my car. But, that's just me talking. I mean, it's really up to you. Sorry, that was my inner Alan Jackson. A lot of lead. Tip. If you used to collect scrap metals to sell, break that piece of iron off there, and it's worth more money. If you don't, they give you 
scrap of scrap rape. Okay, we need our pond hole to clean out some more. No, we don't. We got a shovel. How much longer y'all want to do this? I'm out of energy. I got some chicken piccata in the full board of the wagon. It's probably getting pretty ripe right now. Because it's Valentine's Day. And I just went and had lunch with my bride. I probably should have done that. Now that's all going to wash back over. Here's another piece of brass. Yeah, we'll harvest. I should not have thrown that right there. That's going to wash dirty water back. Let's move all this. We found a lot of stuff, haven't we? I love this game. If you haven't done it yet, go to Alabama Public Radio Facebook site and watch my re real, real, I mean my little short six and a half minute documentary with my bride and I in it and tell them how much you love it and wish they'd do a series. Well, they probably won't. But it'd be cool. And I've said this in the past, I'll leave the link on the uh, in the comment section or something. I've said that a few times and then I have forgotten. So shame on me once is like it's twice, but shame on oh shame on me falling down is better than rice is the saying they say. So I'll make an effort to get it done next time. I don't remember that saying. I know you're a little creek worm. Go back. You play. Live another day. You know, we may be reaching the end of our journey. We're losing a lot of grav. I mean, we a lot of water. The main spot is right here. I could get more water over there. We would be doing so well. I'm afraid I'm going to slip down though. Yeah, that'll get it started. We'll take a break until it clears. It's always fun when it starts to clear up because you can sometimes see things you missed. Like I think I see a library. I don't have my glove on, but we'll attempt to see if that's a library without disturbing everything. That is definitely a library. I wish I harvest. That looks like a coin. It is not. So we'll remove it. And I don't see anything else spectacular right now. I mean, we see that there's a lot of... I'm down into the dirt below all the gravel. Alright, a couple more shovelfuls. Then we got to wrap this up. I'm going to go down in the dirt again. Here's a little concrete cliff right here. It could be a concrete john. just depends on how you feel about naming it. But I don't want to dig right there. I want to keep going deeper and deeper and deeper. Let's see what we can get on top of here. Let's get some of the water out this time. And do that. It's just getting harder to see stuff because it's getting so thick. You now you can find diamonds because they shine bright like a diamond. The rest of this is tough to deal with. Let's wrap it up. Okay, deal. I'm wondering if my chicken piccata is still any good. 
So what we have found is a lovely man purse, that lovely teardrop, some brass, some brass and brass, an amazing case quarter, a couple of knockouts. We'll put them on there so people go, wow, he found that many big old coins. I say, yeah, he did. But really, he didn't. And the more that one dries out, the more convinced I am it is not a coin. But we'll still keep it. And now we need a diamond in the rough. Right there. That's a beautiful thumbnail on it. Thanks for watching my videos.